If you feel like normal freshwater fish is too mainstream, why don't you consider keeping freshwater eels as pets? Yes, eels make excellent pets and are a remarkable addition to your home aquariums. In this video, I'll walk you through the 11 best types of freshwater eels for your aquarium. We'll also review some additional concerns and advice for keeping freshwater aquarium eels at home. Hello friends and welcome back to the Aquarium Store Depot. In this episode, I'll walk you through the best types of freshwater eels for your aquariums. We'll also go over some fun facts about freshwater aquarium eels that you might have missed and their care guides so you won't need to go elsewhere for further queries. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned and share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe. Before going to the list, let's first discuss some fun and bizarre facts about freshwater aquarium eels. Eels are just elongated versions of fish. It would surprise you, but people confused eels with snakes many years ago because of their uncanny resemblance. However, according to their anatomy, they're just an elongated version of fish. However, eels differ from fish in several ways, including the absence of pelvic fins and pectoral fins in some eels. Also, the dorsal fins and anal of eels are merged with the tail, forming a single strip running along most of the eel's length. Eels are ardent swimmers. Eels prefer holes, the bottom layer of your tank, and other hidden places to bury themselves in the substrate. They love to dig deeper in the dirt and plants to take full advantage to surprise their prey with occasional attacks. Do you know that eels also hibernate, and the process is called torpor? Yep, you heard it right. During extreme winters, when the temperature reaches below 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius, freshwater eels species dip themselves in the mud and enter into a stage similar to hibernation known as torpor. You might be surprised by five additional freshwater eel facts. Visit our official blog, AquariumStoreDepot.com, to find out more information about these amazing species. For your convenience, I'll add all these helpful links to the description below so you can quickly go through the essential information. Now that freshwater aquarium eels have got all your attention, it's time to dig a little more about the top 11 types of eels you can keep as pets. Let's revamp your aquarium with my top recommendations. So in the first position, let's learn about freshwater moray eels. If I had to name one risky freshwater aquarium eel, it has to be the freshwater moray eel. Not because they're difficult or aggressive fish, but due to their demanding nature. Moray eels are easily stressed if not provided the right environment. Therefore, if you're a busy fish keeper or a novice, look for other options. The origin of freshwater moray eels stems from the salt water of tropical and subtropical regions with abundant coral reefs. Freshwater morays are secretive and prefer hiding in the rocks. Your first impression of moray eels would be a scary one. With their snake-like appearance and long, slender body, with the absence of pectoral fins, patterned bodies, and sharp teeth, the first look of moray eels is no good. However, it's still a popular choice of aquarium fish among many enthusiastic aquarists because of their behavior. Hobbyists adore freshwater moray eels for their peculiar behaviors, such as team hunting, adaptability, snake-like swimming capability, and sneaky nature that provide an outstanding spectacle in your aquarium. After moray eels, let's learn about our next freshwater eel type on this list, which is the fire eel. Although not true eels, fire eels make a beautiful freshwater aquarium fish that you cannot resist. With over 20 inches in length, the fire eel is a distinctive yet giant breed that requires maximum space in your aquariums. The fire eel is native to South Asia, they're usually found in the lowland rivers of Vietnam, Thailand, Myanmar, and Sumatra. Fire eels are usually shy and prefer to stay aloof most of the time. They're also bottom dwellers, burrowing in the sand. To cater to this behavior, I suggest using sand as a substrate in your aquarium so they don't harm their slender bodies. As far as the plants are concerned, these types of eels are messy and voracious eaters. Therefore, rooted plants are not suitable for their tank, hence keeping floating plants to keep them happy. If you want to know what floating plants are and the best for freshwater aquariums, then you can watch this video on our YouTube channel. I'll add this video's link in the description and in the i button so you can watch it easily. After fire eels, now let's talk about our next type of eel on the list, which is the peacock eel. If you're low on space, peacock eels are best for you. Many fish stores stock peacock eels because of their increasing demand. However, if you don't happen to find one, fret not. A peacock eel goes by many names, including striped peacock eel, Siamese spiny eel, and spot fin spiny eel. 
The peacock eels originate from slow-flowing, stagnant bodies of water in Southeast Asia, mainly in India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Sumatra, and Malaysia. Like other eel species, peacock eels possess an elongated body with a dark brown back and light brown flanks. Compared to the entire body, the stomach of the spiny eel is much lighter. Peacock eels are like introverted friends taking some time before getting all comfy. Your eel-like fish might initially feel distant and aloof, but they'll become very friendly when their environment is well suited. After peacock eels, let's talk about our next eel type on this list, which are starry night eels. If you're looking for a small hardy fish, the African starry night eel is your go-to pet for home aquariums. These freshwater aquarium eels are found in Central Africa, ranging from the Congo River Basin to various rift lakes in the surrounding regions, including the flowing rivers of Tanzania. Unlike other freshwater aquarium eels, the starry night eel is hardy and extroverted, making a graceful appearance in your takes now and then. However, like most spiny eel species, starry nights are slow eaters. The starry night eels are small to medium-sized fish that grow up to 15 inches in length and possess a variable color pattern. After starry night eels, let's talk about our next eel type on this list, the tire track eel. Before getting your hands on the tire track eel, beware. These eel-like fish can get ginormous, which means they can reach up to 30 inches in length. The tire track eel is a popular species found in river systems throughout most South Asian regions, such as Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. These freshwater aquarium eels are close cousins of the zigzag eels from Asia. They're pretty identical because of their distinct, irregular dark black markings. These eel-like fish are semi-aggressive, but very personable and intelligent that recognize their owners well. They feed on live foods such as earthworms and frozen foods. Since they double in size in a short time, it's recommended to keep them with large tank mates. After tire track eels, let's talk about our next eel type, the yellowtail spiny eel. If you want to keep tank mates with your eels, your search ends at the yellowtail spiny eel. Only the smallest creatures can fit in the mouths of the yellowtail eel, such as ornamental freshwater shrimp. Therefore, they make an excellent community tank fish. Originating from the heavily vegetated canals, ponds, and sluggish streams of rivers, these freshwater aquarium eels bring peace and tranquility to your tanks. They grow only 6 to 7 inches in length and feed on live foods such as worms and frozen and freeze-dried food. They're usually timid, but once they get a hold of the environment, they get comfortable and personable with their owners and tank mates. The tank of these eel-like fish should have sand substrate so they can dig and bury themselves in hiding places, hence adding mysterious places such as rocky caves, PVC pipes, and driftwood is highly recommended. After the yellowtail spiny eel, let's talk about our next eel type on this list, which is the half-banded spiny eel. Half-banded spiny eels are found in Asia, particularly in Mekong, Chao Phraya, Thailand, Malay, Sumatra, and Indonesia. Other common names of these species are belted spiny eels or large eels. Like most eels, their bodies are elongated with a pointed snout, and the dorsal and anal fins extend back to the tiny caudal fin. Half-binded spiny eels grow around 8 inches and can fit in a medium-sized aquarium with a lifespan of over 5 to 10 years. In some rare cases, half-banded eels live up to 15 years and longer if taken care of. After half-banded spiny eels, let's learn about our next eel type on this list, which is the Senegalis eel. The polyipterous eels, commonly called reedfish, dinosaur eels, bichir, or swamp eels, originate from heavily vegetated water systems in Africa and India. They're very common in the native lands and are primarily found in ditches. The polyipterous Senegalis eels have jagged dorsal fins, protruding nostrils, and pointed teeth. It's no wonder they're called the swamp dragon. The most attractive trait of polyipterous eels is their ability to stay out of water for some time because of their primitive lungs and swim bladder. Therefore, if you want your share of prehistoric dinosaur that's both hardy and interesting, the polyipterous eels would make great pets for you. Now let's learn about our next eel type, which is the bichir. Bichirs are not true eels. Instead, they're a family of freshwater ray fin fishes resembling eels. Bichirs are popular, fancy aquarium fishes inhabiting our planet for a long time. They're usually found in the freshwater basins of Africa and India, where the water is muddy and silted. Bichirs have poor sense of sight, but can navigate freely in brackish waters due to their excellent smell. The maximum length of bichirs in the wild is around 39 inches. However, they're much smaller fish in captivity, measuring around 9.8 inches. 
Bichirs are hardy fish that don't demand any attention and care. They can even live in dirty water. Therefore, the only difficulty while keeping them in home aquariums is their ability to prey. To cater this, always place them with tank mates larger than Bichirs, and you're good to go. After Bichir, let's learn about our next eel on this list, which is the African Ropefish. African Ropefish is a stunning eel-like fish found in Western Africa and collected in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Angola, Nigeria, Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, and Benin. It lives in shallow, densely vegetated waters. Therefore, setting up an aquarium with aquatic plants and a soft substrate with pieces of driftwood is recommended to form hiding places for your African ropefish. African ropefish are not territorial. Therefore, a peaceful community fish that get along with fish larger than their size, including Cynodontus species, larger caracins, and cichlids such as the Severum, angelfish, and tilapia species, etc. After African ropefish, let's move to our next and last eelfish type, which is the snowflake eel. The freshwater snowflake eel is often confused with Echidna nebulosa. Snowflake eels are found across coastal regions of the Indo-West Pacific, starting from India to the Philippines and then to Indonesia. This large bottom dweller requires a spacious aquarium with soft sand substrate that can forge about for food and wallow. While there are many hiding places amongst rocky caves, PVC tubes, and salt-tolerant plants, filtration should be efficient with moderate water movement areas and quieter resting areas out of the current. Frequent partial water changes are essential to keep nitrate to a minimum. Be sure to use quality marine salt for water changes and monitor salinity carefully with a hydrometer. Indian mud moray eels are highly predatory, feeding on fish in the wild. However, they may be kept in groups of their kind in immense aquaria, if all specimens are roughly the same size, added simultaneously, and provided at least one shelter each. We do not recommend housing with other fish species, as the eels will strike at them, and most will soon be eaten. These are some of the best freshwater aquarium eels that I can recommend to our Aquarium Store Depot family. Yes, freshwater aquarium eels are beautiful creatures to adorn your home aquariums. Coming from freshwater rivers of South Asian regions, they're mostly peaceful and get along pretty well with tank mates of their sizes. However, freshwater aquarium eels might not be an excellent fit for novice fish keepers due to their demanding nature. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby. And if you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up so that the video will get more reach and help other fish keepers in the hobby. Please comment on your favorite eel types in the comments below, and if you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comment section. For any queries or problems related to the aquarium hobby, join our Facebook and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. I am sure you will find your solution if you face any fish keeping issues. Thanks for watching the video.